Welcome all shortwave and radio listeners and this is a quick video to uh, share another website. Uh, yesterday I was sharing a um, tool if you like to listen to um, major air routes, uh, aeronautical frequencies on shortwave, uh, Flight Radar 24 to have real-time maps of airplanes around the world. You know, it adds uh, a second dimension to just listening. You also can easily see where the plane is and it's pretty cool. Now there are some people that did ask me uh, in the comments and also outside of the comments in private, uh, can you give us some interesting frequencies for aeronautical routes? Well, this is the website you should go to. I will post the link in the description below the video. It's the Major World Air Routes Areas Frequencies and they're all divided into the different routes that uh, or routes that basically um, airplanes take and so you know what um, the airports, the major airports that you'll be listening to and uh, of course you'll have the different routes and of course if you want to know a specific route where it is you can google them and you will see these routes so if you want to see what Nat E, North Atlantic Family E is if you google it you'll see it on a map and basically you'll be able to identify them easily in the Flight Radar 24 website too. So you've got everything for you know North Atlantic, uh, for the Caribbean, South America, Pacific regions, Africa regions, everything is here, Middle East, Europe. So check it out, uh, pretty interesting stuff and um, you know you can listen to all of these frequencies on your radio and you know you'll have the ones that are easy like for example here I know that you know, the North Atlantic routes are the easy one for uh, East Coast, but uh, and the Caribbean also is an easy one. But you know what? Why not try a little harder? Try to uh, get or DX uh, Pacific region or Asia region uh, frequencies and see what you can hear. So uh, all of that on shortwave uh, requires upper sideband, of course. So to listen to these uh, aeronautical frequencies, single sideband is required. And one last thing, uh, do it as soon as possible because we know one thing is that in the next few years the aeronautical communications will be moved to a satellite system and shortwave slowly will be fade out that means in five or ten years we probably won't have any more aircraft to listen to so now is the time it's still very active and I mean if you just uh, put your radio on one of these frequencies you'll see there are tons of communications that you can hear from aeronautical from airplanes and airports around the world. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you for following us on this channel.